Welcome to the Circuit Gateway WebLearn video. In part three of our series, we will provide an introduction to the Databricks environment. It is in Databricks that you will spend most of your time developing and executing your analytic software in Python, SQL, R, or Scala, and where you will be able to collaborate with your colleagues. This is the first of two videos where we will get hands-on with the environment and demonstrate the key features which will be important to understand to ensure you get the most value out of Gateway. During registration, you would have signed up with your university email address and set up an initial password. You can navigate to the login page directly via the URL circa.cloud.databricks.com or via the link from the Circa website. Once Databricks has launched, you will get access to the menu items on the left. The menu gives you access to the workspace Recent, Data, Clusters, Jobs and Search. But most of the time you'll typically use the Workspace or Recent items and occasionally Search, which allows you to go and search for keywords across the entire environment. From the main body of the page, you can link to Circa provided introductory notebooks and collection information. Below the Circa links are fairly clear areas for creating a new notebook or job, which are the two items relevant for your use of Gateway. You will not have the authorization to create your own clusters, tables or libraries. Databricks provides comprehensive documentation accessible from the front page or from the workspace, and it is here that they will also announce new release features on their platform. Circa has provided four getting started notebooks which provide an overview of the Databricks environment and recap much of the information provided in our video series. As mentioned, there is also very comprehensive documentation provided by Databricks and directly available from within the Training and Tutorials workspace. Circa has provided a query samples notebook for each data collection which is accessible from the standard notebook menu under Workspaces. For the rest of this video, we will use the Prices Notebook. Each notebook has an introductory section which provides a description of the collection as well as a list of tables relevant to that collection. There are also links to important resources such as the Data Definition Notebook which provides table layout information. You can also download a spreadsheet which contains the full coverage of the table layout for all collections provided by Gateway, which allows you to use Excel filtering and find to locate the table and field information you are looking for to make use of the platform. You could also use copy and paste using these field names and table names to build up your queries. The Circa provided notebooks are read-only and you cannot execute any of the queries within them. To make use of the notebook, go to the File Clone menu at the top of the notebook and enter the name of your version of the notebook. This will be saved under your personal workspace under email address. Notebooks are made up of cells. Each cell can execute only one command. You can create a new cell by clicking the plus button in the middle of the page. You can then enter your descriptive text by using the %MD markdown tag or by simply executing your query statement, which is a default language in this particular notebook. Note that if you want to use an alternative language such as R or Python, You'll need to use the %R or %Python statement at the start of the cell so that Databricks knows the language you are using and how to interpret it. To execute a cell, click the arrow graphic in the top right corner of the cell or enter Control or Command Enter depending on whether you're using a Windows machine or a Mac. Once executing, Databricks uses Spark to distribute the query across the cluster of computers. If successful, the resulting table will be presented. At the bottom of the cell, there is a graph button which provides the ability to display the table as various graph types, assuming that that makes sense for the particular data set. You can also adjust the formatting of the graph.
If you prefer to download the data and work on your local environment or bring the information into a third-party tool such as Tableau, Databricks also provides a download function. Note that we have capped the download from a cell to 400,000 rows to ensure that the system is not overloaded. Finally, the file menu provides some key notebook management functions such as move or delete and the ability to export your notebook in different formats. Thank you for watching our WebLearn video. For more videos or support resources, visit us at the circuit.org.au slash training website. To provide feedback or for any queries, reach out to us via our contact form on the website.